Dr. Martin here. So I typically refrain from speaking in extremes because there are very few things that belong in the always or never category. I often say that I am only thing I am always is black. So please understand the seriousness in my voice when I say that it is never okay to feel as though you have to share your body with someone out of obligation. This is an incredibly unhealthy and dangerous message that violates the foundational right, the right that we all have of body autonomy. Body autonomy is the freedom to make your own choices about your body from the clothes that you wear to who you share your body with, when and how often. Don't feel as though you need to subscribe to the messaging that whether or not you are in the mood, you need to suck it up, maybe literally, and do your job. Not wanting to have sex does not automatically mean that you are using sex as a weapon and purposefully trying to hurt your partner. That is that is an egotistical, harmful, and validating view if I ever heard it. Changes in libido are connected to so many mental health and, and physical health disorders, I can't even name them all. Giving your body to someone despite not being interested is not a compromise. I'm not gonna compromise on my body. You shouldn't have to compromise on your body. Compromise is the act of settling a dispute or making a concession. What are the concessions being made on both sides when it comes to me giving you my body? I provide you with the service because at this point, that's what it is. And you provide me with what? The pleasure of you not leaving me or berating me or disregarding my right to consent or not completely or worse. There's no 50-50 in this. There's no meeting in the middle of this or anything of this sort. There's me giving you what you want and you disregarding what I want. And this could possibly be because at some point in my life, I was taught that that was the way to keep people around. And that is where my worth lied in my service to others while denigrating myself. I find that these messages infantilize men. They make it seem like we have to care for men in a different way. The indication that a man is the sum of his base instincts and would rather satisfy his needs despite his emotional state is insulting and reductive to men. To men, y'all should be insulted. Also stating that God made men one specific way is such a neat trick. Using the word of God on one hand to make women act in a manner that is against their physical and mental health. And on the other hand, absolving men of the responsibility of caring and acknowledging the needs of others, someone other than themselves. That that is such a neat trick. And I want to be clear in stating that I wholeheartedly believe that men have the ability to look beyond physical issues. I acknowledge the fact that men not only make connections through physical acts, but also have the capacity to be emotional and bond with individuals too. I don't think that men are one one trick ponies. I would take offense to these messages as a man, but I am not a man. So leave a comment below with how y'all feel. He, she, they, anything. Tell me how this message would resonate with you.